I'm here on step 31 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web designs third project, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. So we already learned about primary colors, and again, primary colors are when we set red, green, or blue to 255, the max value that we can set for RGB, um, and everything else would be zero. And then if we combine two primary colors, as we did here, we combined red and green at their max values, we got this yellow color. Now we can make a tertiary color by taking a primary color and combining it with a nearby secondary color. And the way that we get that secondary color, nearby secondary color, is by setting um, another value to 127. So right here we're going to set green to 127, and we get that orange color. And here, if we can take cyan and we can change it to spring green um, by, taking, and by changing the blue value to 127. And there we go, spring green. Um, next, we can get violet by taking red and turning it to 127, and there we go. So we can get a new set of tertiary colors by switching 255 and 127 around. This is just another permutation of what we were doing earlier. So the colors we have here are some sort of green that I don't even know how to begin, begin to pronounce. We have azure or azure, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one either. And then we have rose or bright pink. Next, we're going to just set everything to black. And the way we get black is by um, removing all color. And so we've, if we have no red, no green, and no blue, we get black. Because black in RGB is the absence of color. Okay, here we're just going to set the first, um, the first marker to red and the second one to cyan by making green and blue 255. And then we can use that cyan color again right here to change the background of H1. So the default background color of H1 is white, but we can change it right here. So we want to set those red, green, and blue values. So we want no red. We want all the green and all the blue, and there we go, cyan. And you can actually see, oh, that H1 element isn't just the text, it actually expands almost to the whole width of the page. And that's apparent through that background color. So the next thing we're gonna do is set the first marker to um, black, and the second one is going to be, is going to be, um, the second one is going to be red. And there we go. OK, so you might notice that your eyes are drawn to that red color over those black markers. And that's because red is a, a color that kind of pops compared to the rest of the page, um, if we don't um, consider the cyan color, which is really, really bright. Um, and this is it's important to note that you can use color um, choices to draw um, someone who might be visiting your site to something important. So that could be maybe a button to sign up for something or a link to um, the donate page or, or something important on your site. You might want to change that to a different color. But here we don't actually need people to be drawn to that um, middle marker, so we're just going to make it black. And for this last step, we're just going to remove the background color of the H1 element because that was kind of unnecessary.